Silly is such a historical footnote that on the official Wikipedia page there are only two sentences, and both are dwarfed by a notice saying that the article doesn't cite any sources. So I'm not even 100% convinced they even existed. Real or not, Silly presents one of the most unique ways to play EU4, and is, in my opinion, having just played them, an incredibly underrated nation. You might think that there's nothing to do starting out Silly, but my god would you be mistaken. Something else that I can only hope is a mistake is that there is a 70% chance that you watching this right now aren't subscribed. Did you know that clicking subscribe actually gives you a plus 10% discipline bonus in real life? I mean, the only way to find out is to actually do it. Also, if you want to see another part, be sure to vote by liking the video. Now, let's see what Silly has in store. Has anyone actually ever played as Silly? Follow-up question. If so, why? Let's get this over with. There are a lot of obscure one province minor nations I could have picked. Um, Tom told me to do this. The other thing about Silly, if you haven't realized, um, we're landlocked between Austria and Hungary. And, um... That's all there is to it, really. Oh, he's a 6-2, though. All right, well, we've got something, at least. All right, the rivals. You have... Okay, Austria. Austria apparently having the game of their lives because they've only been rivaled by Aragon, the Papal State, and Switzerland. And Aragon's also rivaled... Uh, well, I mean, Aragon's my only ally at this point. They're going to instantly get taken into Castile, aren't they? Brilliant. Build an army we're never going to use. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to play this. I have no plans. Tilly army strength. You'd royal marry me. My diplomatic reputation is plus 15. Oh, great, I get plus one off the bat. Wait, can I? Now, lads, this is interesting, isn't it? Ooh, a diplomatic reputation guy off the, off the bat, eh? All right, well, let's, apparently we aren't gonna need an army. Let's make sure our ruler doesn't die. Does he start with anything good? No, he doesn't start, I don't care about him then. We're actually really close to getting elected emperor. That's an interesting proposal, Austria. A very interesting proposal. I'm gonna say no. I don't need your alliance. Come at me. Let's do this. Let's tango. I'm gonna take everything you've ever loved. Yes, one by one they fall. Mugglers. How? <laughs> God's sake. It's like half our income to stop smugglers. What are they smuggling in? There's like six people in this country. I could ally you. And now we have three guys voting for us. Who did you ally? You didn't ally any of the electors, you idiot. So the allies, at least two countries. And that gives me another diplomatic reputation, right? Let's let's get going on that one. I mean, they give, that should give me enough um, diplomatic reputation, right? If I complete that mission. This is, this is, okay, all right. This is the silly strap, boys. In both senses of the name. It's, it's three versus three right now. Okay, I need to convert. I need to convert Brandenburg. I need to convert them. No, why would you give it to Wurttemberg? Improved relation plus 25%. Okay, I can do that. Right. Imperial graces. This is, I'm pulling out all the stops. I mean, lads, it's not my usual high octane declare war and everything gameplay, but I think it's just as high octane, to be honest. He's only got two voting for him. Come on, come on, just die. Just die. Just die. Never before has improved relations button seemed so... Oh, mine's just, mine's just flipping. There we go, get him back into the fold. You'll give me an alliance, Brandenburg? You beautiful little thing. There you go. <laughs> I just like that they look at the, the Holy Roman Empire, right? Austria being the emperor. You've got these foreign threats abound, but that... This is the man you want the leader. This is the nation. Count Friedrich the second von Silly. He's 71. Oh, if we get... Oh, that'd be great, because if we get it... If we get it, and then our guy instantly dies, we'll be able to pass the first reform. Aragon involved... Oh, there it is. There's Junior Partner Steel. Cool that. Usually it's nowhere near that height. Oh, did they get it naturally? They didn't get the event. They got it naturally. Oh, that screws them over a little bit. <sighs> hmm. Why do I have four diplomats? Wait. <laughs> I didn't even realize I did it. I got elected. I'm the emperor. What? Well, boy, this is uh, this is this is interesting now, isn't it? Right, Austria. Let's build a spy network, shall we? All right, my foursome is now 47. The income is largely the same. I'm nowhere near where I thought I was in terms of power. That's fine. We have still got the electors on our side. I don't want to join a trade league, thank you very much. I've got bigger things, and the tutors. Okay, what's going on in the east? We've got the Great Horde is being occupied by Shirvan. Okay, and Lithuania is being occupied. You know, I'm just gonna focus on England. Why do you keep doing this? Just take the land that borders you. So with the Emperor, uh, I'm gonna rival both Austria and Hungary. Screw them both. I don't care. Let's see if we can ally anyone then. Uh, we are probably gonna need more troops. I should probably stop embargoing you, Ottomans. Venice made me do it. Austria is now silly as their new rival. <laughs> that's, that's a low moment for the Habsburgs, isn't it? Let's get our, our men back up. Got a force of at 42,000. Or oh, 47,000, my bad. 
Total army, at least 50% of the force limit. Are you are you insane? I'd like to point out that this mad lad is uh, 75 years old. <laughs> He's the Holy Roman Emperor. He's 75. There's no way out of the situation apart from fighting either Austria or Hungary. And they're allied, so probably both. I don't want to really waste this diplomatic reputation on just the uh, Ottomans, which sounds weird to say, but I think what I'll do is I'll just build more troops and hopefully they'll like me. Oh, it's peace internally. Nice. Oh, what's that? Broke their alliance with Hungary, huh? Oh, oh, boys. Ottomans, this could be big for us. Well, 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 if it isn't an alliance with the Ottomans. <laughs> Excellent. The thing is, if I were to attack for this, then, like, people would get involved. If I have to attack Croatia, no one cares about Croatia. Friedrich is in charge, the very feeble 78-year-old man. Screw it. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Wait, actually. I want to wait until, like, a... <laughs> no one wants me to do this. Why is that? Is that economic power? Yeah, man. Okay, well, we're not going to be passing any reforms anytime soon, lads. Let's just focus on fighting. Wait, what do you want out of this war? Did you claim stuff? Oh, that's, that's going to be ugly. Isn't there a gold mine here? Yeah, I kind of want that. I think it's actually a great nation to play off the bat. You've got a really easy route into being the emperor. All right, let's see how, how well the silly men are at fighting. Get the 78-year-old on the front line. Yes! Now quickly take him off. Get him back to bed. Oh, he's dead. Oh, God, how old was he? I mean, we got we got elected again. All right, Henrik, a 433. We will take that. Thank you very much. Does that mean everyone's going to vote for us now? Yeah, okay, good. Because it's a scary moment where we didn't have an heir there. 54, you left it a bit late, didn't you? Jesus Christ, man. I missed the, the, the mad lad that was 75 years old. I think he might have been 80 at his death. I don't know. I need to check that. And the stack like Brilliant. I really don't like the addition of commas, I have to say. All right, yeah, we've abandoned Italy. We do have 99% war score, so. All right, take some money. Some uh, slight coalition, but that is our first war done. <laughs> and we got a gold mine. And we got enough admin to core everything. That's new. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much, Bohemia, for your contribution to the cause. The cause being me. Yeah, they, don't, they really don't want to do this reform, do they? Weak emperor. What did. Jesus. Alright, lads, let's wait until I get the gold mine up and running. I'm allied to the Ottomans. Like, I'm not that weak. Oh, well, then. <laughs> the game sort of has something to tell me about that. Austria then to the coalition. Okay. Do we to fight Venice for you? Okay. I have no qualms against this. I don't like the Venetians. I mean, I was in that trade league that one time, but aside from that, don't take my territory, please. Oh, God, that's a lot of troops. No, that's bad. Uh, so let's flee to the Ottoman territories. Did we get stack wiped? No, we lost a few troops, though. Weak Emperor. They, they might have been onto something. Ottomans, we want to do something about this, buddy? Jesus, just run! Ottomans, you go fight them. I don't want to fight them. Jesus. This is a terrible idea. I've got the manpower for it, to be fair, so it's not too bad. It's just mildly annoying. Oh, did I get the gold mine up and running? Not yet. All right, well, there goes my, my king. And he's got rid he's got a long, long life ahead of him. Hey, right. Is that stack wipe? Thank you. Finally, the Venetians are gonna leave me alone. I'm not sure how this is such a bloody conflict, considering it's the Ottomans on one side and, and virtually no one on the other. Finally, right, I can reap the benefits of this gold mine. And by reap the benefits, I mean I'm just gonna <laughs> buff it to hell. You know it's serious when I uh, put local development cost minus 10%. Here we go. Right, I can finally pay my troops without going into crippling debt. Sorry, was I in the middle of getting attacked there? I didn't realize. Okay, so he just saved my men. They were going to get stat wiped. Brilliant. I'm going to create the most unstable army ever. I went to the point where if I try and even remotely think about trying to go to war, I just instantly collapse with crippling debt. I want a standing army that can only stand at like 10% maintenance. I want a sitting army. Now that is interesting. That is interesting indeed. Boys, I think I have a job for you. <laughs> Wait, 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 isn't there a bug? Oh, there's a bug, isn't it? Isn't there? That if you take a personal union, it gives you the maximum possible, like, aggressive expansion. Do I risk it? I don't, I don't, I think they might have released a hotfix. I can't remember. Well, let's find out, shall we? Oh, thank God. No, I think they fixed it. Okay, brilliant. All right, well, you guys, you go do that. And we'll just, I'll be over here. Nothing more satisfying in this game than just watching everyone else do your job for you. Ooh, national ideas. I really haven't helped at all in this war. I've just sort of been sitting here. Literally tens of thousands of people dying whilst I sit here and watch. I've got my army on full maintenance at least, but that's because I thought I was going to fight Austria. 
I like this silly. It's sort of like a sneaky, let everyone else do the work for you kind of kind of nation. This is fun. Give me a union, please. Right. And we have a little vassal. Right, next step. Boys, I've got another... <laughs> got another job for you. It's a good one. you like it. It's called conquering uh, Austria. We've got a three-star general. Good job I don't intend on doing any of the fighting. A bit dangerous. You get hurt in these wars, you know? Not my troops, obviously. We learned a lesson from the Venice incident. Did someone deal with that? Thank you. <laughs> oh, the timing on that. In fact, if we want to play the personal union game, let's let's go diplomatic. Lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions. If I want to break a royal marriage, it cost me like one prestige instead of a stability. I don't even know who we're fighting, to be honest. I'm just sort of seeing nations go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's some great events. This is good. Uh, this is such a chill game. I've actually... This is probably the most fun I've had in E4 in a long time. I just sort of just sit here and chill. Ah! Oh, okay, right. I saw a three-star general. Right, I've got everyone else out of the war. I think 99% is probably enough. I've been... I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've been scrolling through my phone. This is... It's been a really great campaign. Uh, how many people? There's still way too many. Uh, you're a style mark. Is that permissible? Hmm. Mostly? Excellent. Look at that. Jack is now a thing. That's brilliant. Still, no one would be. Oh, 17 being for it. Okay. We're getting their voice. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll accept. I'll fight the Byzantines. We're the real Roman Empire. I'm the real emperor, not you, Byzantines. My capital's really well protected. I'm gonna just... You know what? I'm gonna make a circle of forts around my capital. I'm so sick of people taking it. Oh, no! Milan! Let me mobilize to do something. I'll march to help Milan. Then, like, my vassal. Oh, well, the Ottomans are doing it now, so I guess I'll just hang about. <laughs> this is probably not the most compelling gameplay I've ever released onto YouTube. Usually there's, like, um, what? Terrifying, hair-raising, near-death experiences um, in terms of the gameplay. And this one, it's like, oh, the Ottomans are just going to go and do everything. Like, they're still very much at risk, but I'm doing nothing to actively help myself. Jesus Christ, the Ottomans are going a bit mental. They've taken the southern coast of Italy. Uh oh. Oh, I could pass a reform. I don't know if anyone would vote for me. Well, he's young. I have time to build it back up again. We're going to do it. We're going to pass a reform. There we go. And as a reward, we get plus one diplomatic reputation. Excellent. All right, Albrecht. 534. I'll absolutely take a 534. Does that mean you're voting for me? Okay, right. They are voting for me, despite the, the lack of imperial authority. Okay, good. Could ally the Poles. No, I don't want to do that. You hold Imperial... Th no, you hold imperial, ter imperial Territory. Give it back. There's some interesting players in this game. I mean, Morocco's taken over most of North Africa. Um, the Danes... The Danes are in they're in Britain. Once more. Okay. That's worrying. Well, if you're English, it is. Lubeck's taken over the northern coast. That's... Mm, okay, interesting. And Provence has taken over Brittany. Ah, oh, Artois has been added to HRE. It's always nice to see. What the hell is this? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll fight Venice. Um, as you can see, I now have 50,000 troops. I did say I wanted an army. <laughs> and now I have one. Hey, Venice! Remember when you uh, stack wiped my armies? Remember that? Huh? Hey, buddy. And Silly has the second largest uh, army in the game. We, ro we have the same size of armies as France. We have 50,000 troops. That's exactly what I want to see. I'm not going to lie. This is not where I thought this campaign was going to go when I first loaded up. But by God, am I glad that it went in this direction. Theodoro has been... God, the Ottomans are full annexing everyone. Jesus. Now, I'm thinking that we've taken diplomatic ideas, but what happens when we actually have them as vassals? That's where we need influence. So we're going to double up on the Diplo. Mainly because it's fun to say. It's great because my rebels still rise up um, as per my development size and stuff. Conveniently forgetting I have like, what, 50,000 troops. What the Bohemian suck. Look at that, 5,000 versus 20,000. They look like they're going to lose. Okay, they just about won. <laughs> I'll bravely finish off these 2,000 troops. Don't worry, now they're running away. I can't be worth chasing. <laughs> As is the silly way, buddy. You could get everyone out of the wall that you needed to. You could. You could just do it. They're not standing again. Just please. We get 100%. There we go. Land shit's done. Is that, is that it? Are we done? Okay, we finished. Transylvania and Serbia have been released as the sovereign states. Oh, okay. That's what we fought for. That's the grand climax of the video. Transylvania. Well, that was, a, that was a very different E4 campaign to what I'm used to. I usually don't ever play like that, but I've, I'm enjoying it. So if you want to see more of that, uh, do make sure to leave a like so I know that that's the kind of content you want to see. 
Maybe we'll even do another part of this one. Who knows? In any case, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.